Offering 75% of the output to tenants in sharecropping contracts, instead of the customary 50%, can boost agricultural productivity and income levels in developing countries. Crop sharing rules that assign 50% of the crop to the landlord and 50% to the tenant are very common in developing countries around the world. In these types of contracts, tenants enjoy only half the benefits of their investments and their incentives to raise productivity are consequently very low. Crop sharing contracts have often been blamed for low agricultural productivity, but the accusation has never been proven very convincingly. Thanks to the cooperation of the NGO BRAC, I and my colleagues Konrad Brucardi, Benedetta Larva and Munshi Suleiman were able to conduct a randomized controlled trial which proved that increasing tenant share from 50% to 75% could translate into a 60% gain in production. We randomly divided 304 tenants in different groups, including one group that kept the 50% agreement and one that moved to 75-25. The output of the 75-25 group was 60% higher than the 50-50 group, with the difference to be ascribed to the incentive introduced by the new sharing rule. Moreover, the hike in productivity neither came at the expense of other income-generating activities at the household level, nor resulted in soil degradation. The effect is to be credited in equal parts to higher investment in capital inputs and higher risk-taking. Tenants in the 75-25 group used 120% more fertilizer and 29% more agricultural tools. Furthermore, they chose to grow crops more profitable but more sensitive to rainfall. The crop increase translated into a 140% increment in tenants' income with a sharp gain in overall welfare, but with a 20% drop in landlord's income. Our experiment proves that the provision of incentives is the right way to boost productivity and rural incomes in developing countries. On the other hand, the reduction in landlord's income suggests that the change can only be sponsored by policymakers, perhaps in combination with policies that compensate for this loss. <laughs>